Another week has come and gone. It is hard to believe. First, I want to thank all of you for all the comments and support you've given me on the last video. The last video of my journey over the last year and going from essentially zero subscribers to 7,000 subscribers and losing 20 pounds along the way. Getting to connect with many of you, it has been just an unbelievable journey and I would have never, ever thought that that would have occurred over the last year. So first, thank you. Second, we are five weeks out from Ironman Indian Wells La Quinta 70.3. It's a mouthful. They just need to pick a shorter name for that race. I, ne I never know what to write. Is it Indian Wells? Is it La Quinta? Is it I M I W L Q? I, I don't I don't know. Today, this morning, I raced my first triathlon in nine years. We'll find out what happened in the race. But first, let's see what happened this week. Welcome to another week of training. It is race week, actually. I have a race on Sunday, a little less training this week. Today's train ride is actually a little shorter. It's only 70 minutes. Then I'm gonna try and hit a little upper body strength. forgot my swim workout. It is Tuesday morning, I'm headed to the pool. It's considered to be a recovery swim, just easy, 4,000 yards. Then this afternoon, I'm gonna try and get in a 40 minute light, easy run. Again, this is a easy week, just getting ready for this week's race. Last week I mentioned I was putting a focus on more plant-based fuel, trying to focus more on eating plants, less on processed foods. I do use supplements, so in the morning I use a carb supplement and I put a little bit of protein powder in there, but I have switched over and I'm trying today for the first time the Vega Sport uh, Protein. 
So it's a premium protein. I got this on Amazon and it is vanilla. I always mix one scoop of that in with my carbs and I'm using, I've recently switched to Tailwind, which I am really, really liking. I like the, uh, the way it blends. It blends really, really easy and the taste is really, really good. So typically in the morning, I will use two scoops for an hour and a half workout. And this morning I've got 90 minutes on the bike. So that's what I'm doing. Yeah, not too bad. I was a little concerned the uh, the Vega protein might be strong tasting or uh, really change the flavor that I'm used to, but uh, it tastes pretty good. That was a good workout. I was uh, I was able to maintain over 300 watts per interval of one minute, 30 seconds in between. The goal was 300 watts or higher, and uh, had a really hard time hitting 300 exactly. I seen based on gearing and played around with the resistance, but based on gearing, seemed to be in that 285 or jump into 315 to 325, 330. So went ahead and just tried to maintain over 300 and it felt really good. It is Thursday morning. I almost said Wednesday. It's Thursday morning. I am three days out, three days out from my race. Math, early. I've got a 4,000 yard swim this morning and then tomorrow is off and it's Halloween. So trick or treating tonight. So I'm gonna get this swim in, burn some calories because I might have a couple pieces of candy tonight. And then, uh, yeah, from here it's downhill after this workout. It's very easy the rest of the week, tomorrow off. Saturday, super light. I gotta get my stuff together so I can get out of here. Well, this morning's swim did not happen. I went to the pool and unfortunately, the heater was broke. It was 61 degrees. I decided I'm not getting in that water. It's race week, not taking any chances of getting sick or anything like that. So I decided I'm gonna scoot out and get a swim in at lunch. It is Friday night and I am starting to prepare for the race. I need to get all my gear together. We're going to see a movie tonight. We're taking the kids to see The Addams Family. Tomorrow we've got soccer early. I've got a short run and a short ride, but then we're actually headed down to the beach where the triathlon is going to be. There was a deal on hotel rooms and there's a room right at the race start. So gonna stay down, stay the night there. The kids wanna see me race. So it'll be a good opportunity for them to go because they probably aren't gonna be at my half Ironman. Just a long day for little ones. Now, I haven't done a triathlon in forever. So I'm trying to go through, think about what I need so I'm not rushed tomorrow afternoon when we're taking off. It is Saturday morning, folks, and uh, I have got my last easy workout just to get the body moving before tomorrow's race. It's hard to believe, first triathlon in nine years, so time to re-familiarize the body with swimming, biking, running, transitioning, all of that fun stuff. Two days ago, I did a swim in the afternoon and I hadn't been drinking enough water, I realized I was cramping, so I got some of the, uh, I think it's noon, 
So I'm going to throw that in my water because I'm only going for 65 minutes this morning, 20 minute run and a 45 minute bike. Nice and easy, nothing too hard. Let's see what flavor. We have grape, fruit punch, tropical, and strawberry lemonade. Hmm, not really a huge grape fan, so let's see which one I pull out. Whoa, tropical, tropical it is. Well, while this dissolves, I'm gonna get on the treadmill. We have two soccer games this morning. They overlap, so we gotta divide and conquer. But then after that, headed down to the beach to do packet pickup. minutes all done now let's hit the bike soccer is over the car is packed we are about to head down to the race got the bike to fit in the van got the bag tri bag haven't pulled that in a really long time went through my checklist I think we got it all a lot of stuff for just one overnight Checked into the hotel, I'm taking my bike right across the street to the race check-in. That is one of the swim buoys over there. I am all checked in. Our room, perfect actually. It's right across from the bay. Literally walk across in the morning, just in time for the race. It is 6 a.m. I'm headed over to the race. Get set up. Haven't set a triathlon transition zone in a long time.
was going to drown in the swim. Uh, I got to get more uh, open water swimming or more swimming in the wetsuit. Felt like it was so tight. There were like three of us that led almost all the way to that buoy. And then I realized I was about to suffocate. And I had to stop and like lay on my back. And I'm like, oh, I can't swim to the sand. Swim to the sand. Swim to the sand. No. <laughs> I was like going to swim all the way over. And I was like, all right, slow down. And I just kind of breaststroked for a while. There you have it. You've seen the footage. Now let's talk about what actually happened during the race. First off, the Newport Dunes Triathlon. They had a sprint and an Olympic. It was very well organized. All of the staff, all the volunteers were amazing. So thank you so much. And I am really, really glad that I did this test race because going in after all of this time into an Ironman or half Ironman without doing any sort of gear testing, just going through transitions, do things work. And I learned a lot in this race, actually. My goal going into the race was a sub 2.30. I really wanted to go under two hours and 30 minutes. I felt I needed to do a 2.30 here just to kind of build my confidence, feel how well I would do on the bike, see what the run felt like. To start out with the swim, the one event that I have felt strong in, the one event I have competed twice in, but not in a wetsuit. Bam, the gun goes off in the water, straight in, no problem, no issues with the goggles, had the cap kind of pulled down over the top of the goggles, boom. First 500 yards, there were three of us. I was right in the lead with two other guys. And by the time I got to that first buoy, I realized this wetsuit is restricting my breathing and I could not catch my breath. I thought I was gonna hyperventilate. I literally had to start breaststroking roll over on my back, try and calm myself down. I wanted to quit so bad at that very moment. The way this swim works is you swim out to the first buoy and you're actually on the other side of the bay, really close to the sand. And everything was going through my head. Why in the hell am I doing this again? I can't breathe, I gotta get this wetsuit off. I have to unzip it, I have to get some air. So I started breaststroking, people were passing me. As much as I wanted to be done, I just kind of kept going until I got my composure and I was able to start swimming and I started swimming pretty slow on that first lap. It was two laps, half mile around the course. By the second lap, I had gotten it under control. I was able to focus and swim without any issues and I ended up coming out of the water 53rd. That was my strong event when I left triathlon. So coming out of the water, I was happy when I looked at my watch, it was 30 minutes. So that was my goal. Hit transition, a minute and 30 second transition out to the bike mount line and took off. And I felt really, really strong on the bike. I was averaging 22, 23 miles per hour. But on that third lap on that climb, as I climbed up, and came around the corner, I popped my gear too fast and I popped the chain off on the front crank and it didn't, I couldn't spin it back on. It actually got jammed, seized up the crank. I had to pop off the bike and three or four riders passed me as I was doing that, messing with it, gearing it back down, trying to get it on, got it back on and I kind of lost my momentum. I felt like my legs almost seized up at that point, standing up, trying to work uh, on the bike. So after that, I could never get my speed back above 20 miles per hour. I was fighting to keep 19, 20. My legs really felt like they started to blow up at that point. So I just kind of tried to maintain and grind through it, kick up the cadence and spin it out. Got in to transition, had another really fast transition, a minute and 25 seconds, got the sunglasses and was out on the run. And I was really worried that my legs were pretty much toast at that point. I wouldn't look at my watch, I just kept my cadence high, wanted to run for at least three or four minutes. Then I would take a look at my watch and I was running 655s. So I was super happy that it felt like I was running really slow but I was actually doing sub seven. I have never done a triathlon where I was not passed on the run. But this run, I never had a single person pass me. I actually started bringing in some of those riders that passed me when I dropped my chain and ran a 4320, which is a 658 or 59, I believe, sub seven for the run. I climbed from 22nd place off of the bike overall to 15th place overall. I ended up coming in second in my age group, but overall I could say I am super happy with the results. Coming out of the water, I was not very happy, but by the time the race was over, 
Looking back, I learned a lot. But that is it. Next week, kind of a recovery week. Got some swims, got a day off, but build back up towards the end of the week. Not really a total recovery week, but build back up, taking the next few days kind of, kind of light uh, just to feel better. But one other thing, I have decided we're ending this season, season two on this race. I had been going back and forth. I had transitioned out of ultra running, but it hadn't been 26 weeks. And now I'm in triathlon and guess what? It has been 26 weeks. So this race, I decided to make the season finale for season two and we will pick right back up, but it'll be season three where there will be a lot of racing. Thank you as always. I'm so grateful. Again, thank you guys for all of the messages on the last video. It was very, very cool to have all of your support. And thank you as always for the comments, the thumbs ups. If you have not subscribed, click that subscribe button. It helps my channel. It helps people find the videos. I hope you guys have a great week. I hope you are staying motivated, inspired, and your nutrition is on point. Your training is going well. We are leading into winter. I'm in Southern California, so I can't really talk much about winter. It doesn't get that cold here. Nothing compared to a lot of you out there. So let's stay focused and make it another great six months, 26 weeks. I'll talk to you next week.